here we are seeing connecting Azure Data Studio with the PostgreSQL running in Docker container. So first the file YAML file for our Docker image will be like this. So version of Docker Compose will be using is will be 3.8. Then in services database image will be Postgres 14.1 14 Alpine. Then it the our image will, our container will restart whenever it goes down automatically so it will be always environment variables we will be passing will be uh, username will be postgres and password will be postgres the port on which this uh, postgres will run will be 5432 and the volume we are giving because we, even if our container gets stopped then our data will be preserved there so let's compose using docker Using Docker Compose, we will be able to compose uh, the file. So now our container should be up. Okay. So the services are running, which we had defined in our YAML file. Let's go to Azure Data Studio. Here to run, here to connect uh, PostgreSQL, first we will need to go to extensions. Then, in extension, we need to install this PostgreSQL uh, extension. So, after that, we will be able to see in the connection type PostgreSQL. Here, server name is localhost. Then, username and password what we gave uh, in our YAML file. name we will give docker uh, postgresql postgresql so now it is connected and we can see databases here we will use new query and uh, we will be using the creating a database let's give it a name as testing okay. and let's create a table called let's say q only and we need to create it in the testing so we will be selecting testing here then we will click Oh, sorry uh, so we need to create a table we will write like this id integer so let's say it is a primary key and then name so and let's insert data So let's insert data here. and see let's see the data what we just inserted so as we can see we have inserted data in the uh, table queue from the database testing now what we will do is we will disconnect then we will uh, stop the container we will make container down then we will make it up again and then we will check if the data is stored uh, there or not 
Okay. Now let's make it. Uh, let's make the container up again. So the container is up again. We will connect it uh, with Azure Data Studio again. So let's click on it. So we have connected. Now terminating due to error. Let's disconnect and connect. running what local host whatever doc uh, whatever name we will give here it will come here as well in the left side server it, because it is server side now we will use testing and select star from queue so our data inserted data is here So this is the way we use to uh, connect PostgreSQL running in a Docker container with Azure Data Studio. So to recap, we will need we need to install PostgreSQL extension in Azure Data Studio. Then we need to use Docker Compose up command to make our container up and running. Then after that. In connection tab new connection we need to select PostgreSQL then we need to give the server name then username password and this name is optional but if you give then you can see it in the left side servers because it is a server name and even if our uh, container goes down and if we start it again then we can see our data is preserved there that is because we have given volumes in our uh, yaml file that's it from this video